Hello, Internet. This is my review of the Call of Duty uh, World War II um, statue slash action figure. And I say statue slash action figure because uh, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but all around, he is very, very nicely sculpted, especially with his flame. It is just everything on him is a beautiful sculpt, which until recently is what McFarlane has been focusing on. Less of the articulation and more so uh, the sculpt. Because of the less articulation, um, and you, you, know, you know, the sculpt, he, uh, this particular figure, he does have three other figures, but this one the most, I think, has the limited articulation because, to be honest, I think he does only have a wrist swivel. But I don't really, I don't really care, you know, for a soldier action figure, I'm not expecting much articulation anyways. As you can see, he, he's got all the necessities such as a canteen, a knife, and over here is where his pistol would be held. Um, and you, you, uh, you can take out, take out the, the pistol. It is, uh... A very, very nice, um, nice piece once you take it out, but to be honest, it doesn't have that much detail, because you can't really, uh, put it, put it in his hands anyways, but, take a look at his backpack, very nicely sculpted, looks very realistic, such as everything else, he also has this base, which you can take out, and wherever he is at, it appears to be very, very dry. Even though this is a very nice piece, you cannot really use the figure off of it um, because he does have very noticeable peg sticking out. So, um, so not really much use of being able being able to take him out. And um, sadly, the the knife yeah, you cannot take out the knife. Uh, that way, it differs from from the handgun and um very 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 nice head um n not like a screaming i don't really know what i would call that expression to be honest it just kind of looks like he is almost enjoying enjoying whoever he is absolutely frying um and i just off screen just put the, the flame piece because again obviously um when you buy this we, you, no matter if you're playing with him or displaying it on a, a shelf of yours your the flame piece is going to be in there um because if not um, i would start to ask some serious questions about your mental health because why in the world would you not put this incredible flame piece on i mean it's 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 really really good um, he does, it, it almost appears that, uh, that he could have a, a shoulder swivel or even an elbow, but, um, he, uh, but he, but he doesn't, he doesn't, his head doesn't even move. It is just, just the, the, the wrists move. Um, let's take a look at these, uh, the boots very very nice and and well sculpted all around uh, so is so is the pants with all the very very good wrinkles all around um, his helmet also is looking it's looking very very nice um, you can also see his white t-shirt under all the uh, the basic uh, army gear and green attire that he's got going on. Uh, heading back over to the pants as well. You can... Um, you... You can see uh, sewing... the sewing lines. I don't know how well you guys can see it, which again, 
just goes into more about how McFarlane really, really has beautifully sculpted figures. So, all in all, I would give this action figure, to be honest, a a perfect 10 out of 10. The base is wonderful. The sculpting is wonderful. Everything on him is great. He, he even just has little things like a, a pistol that you can take out of his holder, which even though most likely won't be using it, it just... It just really gives the figure an extra little uh, little bit of pizzazz, and obviously, no no real way of articulation. But again, most likely you're just going to be displaying him, and even if you are playing with him, you don't really need a World War Two American flamethrower army soldier to be able to bend whatsoever. Um, so again, all in all, I would give this a 10 out of 10, and, um, out of the wave, he is by far my favorite action figure, uh, even though I do not possess the infantry soldier, I only have the flamethrower, the snow soldier, and what I believe is, uh, the captain. So, but out of the three out of the four that I have... He by far is my favorite, though I will, I will admit, I am extremely, extremely biased when it comes to flamethrower soldiers. So, uh, that is my review, and um, I'm sure that this was all pointless and that nobody will watch this, but if for some reason anybody has actually watched this video uh, fully, I thank you. Um... And if you want to, like and subscribe, though, to be honest, um, if I were you, uh, you know, I wouldn't really blame you if, if you didn't. Um, but, you know, if you want to like and subscribe, of course, that will always, uh, always be appreciated. Um, but again, you, you, you really don't have to, as I'm sure nobody, nobody will see the video. And even if they do, I'm sure nobody's going to watch uh, eight minutes of this entire video. So, this is my review of the Call of Duty Flamethrower Soldier, and I hope you liked it.